don't whatever you do swing over the top again and hit it from the outside oh, typical typical I would bet we've all made that golf swing before where the club has been traveling over the top and coming from the outside of the golf ball and striking that part of the golf ball and all we want to do is hit that golf ball from the inside in today's lesson we're going to find out how we go about doing just that so guys hitting the ball from the outside and it's probably a topic we've all heard maybe watched previous videos on from myself and other people and discussed it amongst our saturday four ball or our, our midweek game and it is a, a very common thing you know probably 75 percent of the people that i teach will generally swing from over the top and strike the ball from the outside of the golf ball so what i mean by that just to clarify is that we have a plain line we have something where the golf club is designed to swing round an angle on our body so it would be on this angle here if i just stick this cane in for us and what we should do ideally is travel up this travel back down it in a similar manner and see that we just get the ball from the inside here if we think of it as a um being split into four quadrants we've got the two front that obviously we're not going to hit we've got a quadrant here like a little triangle this outside of the golf ball and then we've got the inside of the golf ball here and if we can get the inside of the golf ball more frequently we should see that we get better strikes we should see that we get better flights and have generally more control over the golf ball we won't be delivering such a glancing blow across it from the outside and limiting our distance and actually control over the shot so how do we do it and what is one thing that we can change to get us actually hitting from the inside so for anyone there who looked at that swing and thought of one thing and was very keen-eyed what you will have seen is that as I swung up to the top and started my golf swing down now my trail arm so for me as a right-handed golfer my right arm it starts to disconnect from the body a little bit so it straightens out this way a little bit more so we see from there as i do that the club head now gets out side in front of the golf ball this way here it's out over on this side in front of me so as it starts to come back towards the golf ball it's coming in this way all from me actually not working my trail arm in the right manner on the way down into impact so if we can change that and get a feeling that we can actually take from the top of our backswing and start the downswing correctly hopefully we should see we get the club traveling in the right manner and a great way to do this i was sat home the other day having a thinking and in um, with a few of my lessons when we were talking about what the right elbow or the trail elbow needs to do for a right-handed player what's the feeling as has been the analogy of in the past of skimming the stone a little bit we'd see this a little bit only problem with that sometimes is i'd get people to do this and all of a sudden they leave the hands wide open in the face and we get a little bit healy then i was starting to think what about if we had a spear if we were going to chuck a stick or a, an alignment cane like this at that golf ball if i wanted to try and actually stand to it from side on and actually hit this golf ball in the side now how would i go about it i know for certain i wouldn't try and get this inside corner here of the golf ball or inside segment by throwing it in this way because i'm glancing across it and my chances are very limited from there what i would try and do is actually swing up to the top as if i was making my backswing and from here then guide my arm into the side here and release my hands so then the actual pointy bit of my cane is looking directly at that ball and if we think of the golf swing now if i was doing the same thing i'm getting more from the inside so it's a great feeling if we can imagine and we had a few little uh, practice swings and even if you don't have alignment canes you can actually do this with a golf ball i get some of my lessons to do this sometimes is to swing up to the top and I say right I want you to try and knock the ball off the tee for me and see if you can get the ball going out to the right hand side of the target for us as a right handed player so they stand here and they bang throw it into the ground this way and we start to see now that the trail elbow as we go through instead of extending out in front of me like I did in that first swing and throwing the club out in front it starts to actually 
drop like this. So my hand almost moves back behind the elbow and allows in turn the shaft to start to fall a little bit shallower in the downswing instead of extending and getting a little bit steeper we start to shallow it out and if i were to just demonstrate a great way to try and feel this now i'm going to throw this and go extended i'm going to extend my trail arm and just watch what happens to the cane as i come down so as i go here sticks out generally that's the way the club's going to be doing normally when i've been warming up I don't even get it to stick into the ground. What I want to try and do is get this to actually stick in just after the golf ball with the cane pointing back out this way. So I'd be here and I'd swing up and try and see that I gather this right trail elbow into my side and release it here so I get that motion. As I see here, I'm throwing this spear, I'm not throwing it a distance, it's almost like you see those guys in the Amazon, when they're trying to fish in the water, they throw it down like this. We get this motion of gathering the trail elbow and releasing that energy into the ground or throwing the spear into the ground. We actually get it released into the golf ball a little bit more. So instead of it being extended, we want to see that we gather and get it in here a little bit more. See that we're releasing and my body's turning and I'm getting this feeling now release and throw, release and throw. So then when I start to actually bring in my iron swing, what I can then feel is swing up to the top, gather that elbow, feel that I gather the trail elbow, imagine I'm throwing the spear and release. And from there for me straight away, it feels a lot more compact. I feel that the club's more from the inside. And if I can just finish this tip off now, by feeling this a little bit more, what we should see is a ball that starts either just slightly right of the target and draws back or starts right on line. So imagine releasing that spear, I'm gonna gather that trial elbow, let the hand get the feeling of falling behind the elbow. And from here, that is flushed a tiny little draw beautiful strike and instead of that choppy slicey one just from a simple feeling of gathering my right elbow and releasing it into the ball here i'm able to swing more from the inside and get that better strike so guys if you are wanting to hit the ball a little bit more from the inside and stop getting that glancing blow from the outside give this drill a go. Like I say, you can use a cane if you've got some grass to practice on, or if you're at the range, get a few balls and feel that you're throwing it into the inside of the golf ball instead of extending and throwing it out over the top. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you have, give that like button a click for me. Also, do comment down below. What are you working on in your swing at the moment? Is there anything you want help with? And also do remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future golf lessons to help you improve your game this year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.